Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Re welcome back to Rebecca's Gift Box. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on this planet. So today is Friday, the April twenty second. Yes, yes. And today is the hashtag stencil with us, co-host by Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and Susan from Susan Hiles Art. And for today's day, April 22nd, we are to use something that is not a stencil as a stencil and make a pocket for a journal page. So if you're in the middle of a project like making a journal or something and you need to make a pocket, this is the time for you to use this, um, this project right here to make, um, to make your pocket with, for your journal. So... Um, they want us to, do, to, to make a, a journal page and use a stencil that's not a stencil, okay? For example, for example, this right here is a stencil, okay? It's a stencil, all right? So they want you not to use that. Something that's uh, like a household item or something that you made a, a punch from, like, like a punch like that and use it as a stencil um, that's the aim for today so what I come across was I'm still working on my winter journal <laughs> should be finished with that by now right not I'm still working on my winter journal and I am working on uh, I shouldn't have taken it out of the page. Oh, I'm working on this page right here. Working on this page here, where this pocket is going to go right here. This is a cutoff from a net, um, from a um, handkerchief with the flower on it. I hope you can see. There you go. And it's had a little ruffle at the edges there, little scallop there. It was just going to be right down here. And I'm going to make it as a pocket. But I want something here. Okay, I don't want it plain because it's going to be a pocket and another pocket. Okay, and I was thinking about making another, making this come down a little bit. But nah, I'm going to leave it like this and make a pocket, then a pocket. But I need something here. I don't want that plain. So that's what we're going to work on. So, let's put this to the side for now. And... We are going to see what we can do here. Let's put this to the side as well. Don't need that. So we want to work on here, basically on this top portion here. So I come across, came across some stuff here. Um, this is a, actually, um, I don't know what this is. I, I got it for like a like a dollar fifty. Was a clearance item when I was working at AC Moore. I got it. And I'm gonna. It's something you can just glue on, you know, as a decorative item. But I'm gonna use it as a stencil. I'm gonna turn it over and just use it on this side here because I don't want to mess up the pink. So I'm going to use it on this side here. So we're going to see what this how this looks like, what this looks like. I'm going to use it on a scrap piece of paper though, okay? And then I have like a piece of a doily. I like this little portions right here. It looks like like the wind is blowing. So that would be great. Like just imagine if just something like this right here with this little ruffle with the wind coming out like that. You see how that looks like? So I was thinking about doing something like that. So there's that. And then I found, then I have a piece of this. Um, this comes off a table runner, I believe it is. And the middle section, you know, is just plain, the plain material. And then around, the, around it is this material right here. So I was thinking about maybe using a piece of this stencil in it or using the bottom portion down here this section right here and stenciling using that you know with the ink and see how that comes out I don't mind putting ink on here because I, I mean because it'll be like stained make it antique no problem with that and then I found this packaging stuff here and I'm like I wonder what that would look like on here you know just put it like right there you know 
I wonder what that would look like. But before I put it on here, I want to test it on a plain piece of paper. All right, so let's move this to the side. And let's get some paper. Yeah, here we go. This is a scrap piece of paper. And we're going to test this. I don't, I don't need to test this because I know what this is going to look like. But let's go ahead and just, just for curiosity, we're going to test it out on this corner over here. So let's put this like that. And we're just going to use this regular ink right here. And we're going to see what it looks like. Actually, I can't use that. Let's go ahead and use my brush. See, that's what that looks like. And y'all know that's going to be like a rose. So that doesn't look bad at all. Okay? So that's what that looks like. And I don't want that because it looks too big. I mean, let me just put it against the paper here. Let's see. If I put that on here like so, and we have this on it like that, that's what we're going to get like that. I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. <laughs> Let me say it again. It looks okay. But it's just like it's too much space, I think. So let's just try something else. I really want to see what this looks like. So if I have this straight edge here like that, let's put this over here and see what this looks like. Where's my brush? Okay. Let's see. I really want to see what this comes out. Because this is what I really want to use. Alright, so let's get to the other side over here. That doesn't look all that bad, right? Doesn't look bad at all. So that is a definite plus. That's a definite plus. Okay, let's turn it around and let's see what this here looks like. This basically this portion here. Okay, so if I have it at an edge, like so. Okay, I don't think it's going to show up that much here. Because the material may be a little bit too thick. I'm not getting anything on there. See, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting nothing on there. So, this is not going to be a good one here. Just finishing up this here. So it won't look funny just in case I want to use it. There. Okay. Now for the nitty gritty. 
this right here. Let's see what we can get here. Let's turn it this way. I'm not sure we're going to get anything from this here either. something we got something not bad right there we go that looks kind of nice and I'm still going for that doily <laughs> I'm still going for that doily oh you know what this maybe looks better now I'm gonna stick with that doily I really think I'm gonna stick with that doily I think that's going to look better for my pocket. Okay, so let's go ahead. I know people are screaming, no, the flower, the flower. Let's go ahead and do the flower. We're not going to see the other side, so let's just go ahead and try this over here like this. Okay, let's see what that looks like. See that? I'm thinking maybe so. I don't want to cover up that flower. But then I'm I'm gonna leave it like this. Because what I could do, I could use the flower, the flower and the doily at the same time. Like so. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so we're going to use the flower at the top. Or should I use the doily? Decisions. I hate making these decisions. I don't like making decisions. Let's go ahead and do the flower.
ahead and do the whole thing. darker at the top, especially where the leaves are. I want those darker. Okay. Do it. And there it is. There's my rose. And I wanted the leaves to darker just like that. Now, if I put my pinky on there, there's my pocket. And if I do decide to fold it down, It'll be just a little pipe, little fold, just like that, where I can put some little, a ribbon or something, some lace or more lace and a, some bling. But you still can see the rose. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's move this out of my way real quick. I'm going to glue this down first, this little piece right here. So let me get my 3-1 beacon real quick. I'm just going to put a little string just across here, just so it'll stay down. at this top portion here. Like that. Keep it puffy. And I was thinking about using this blue string on here. You know? I try not to waste nothing, <laughs> you know, I try not to. I think I need some more string here.
something like that. I know I'm being fussy. I can always cut those ends. Nope, I don't like that. Do I have anything else over here? I have this pink, I don't know why. I need something blue. I can never find it. Okay. I will be right back. I'm going to find something that's blue because I want something to go across there. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. I'm back. Thank you for being patient with me. And so I found two ribbons that had their blue. They have snowflakes on them. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be too wide. So I'm, I'm not... I'm, this is the perfect color that I want to use because it goes perfectly with the blue here, if you can see. So I'm going to have to go with the darker blue, which is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I already cut a piece off already. And also with that, I put some diamonds on the snowflakes right there in the middle. As you can see there. Okay. Right there in the snowflakes. I put little diamonds in there. Okay. See that shine? There you go. I also cut this little piece of ribbon as well. I wanted something hanging from the bottom of that blue. Even though I have this little ruffle here from the material, I still wanted something hanging. You know, I'm just funny like that. <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna, I'm going to put this on here, like so, right there at the bottom there. And then I'm going to put the blue on top. And that is my plan. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Because I, I can add and add to these albums. I get when I do my albums, I just sometimes I get a little carried away. Because I want them to be good. Because these are things I'm selling. And I don't like half doing something that I'm selling. Oops. Yeah, this is right. Oh, come on. Alright, so I'll put this at the bottom. There. Now for the blue. I'm going to put it right on the blue. I'm going to get ready to use it again, I think. Alright, so let's go ahead and place this down. Right there. Like so. And there you go. See, it just brings out a little shine there, a little bling bling. Okay? Now we can put it on here. So I'm just going to do the three sides like that. I want this hanging down. And I'm putting it on the material because the material doesn't cover the whole thing. 
okay it doesn't cover the whole thing so this is why I'm going to do the on the material put the glue on the material I just want a little bit because I don't want it seeping through. And I'm not going to go all the way down on it because it's going to be hanging off the edge there at the bottom. And I'm going to have to wipe this off because I put too much on here, right there in that corner. And I don't want it sticking. I wish I had some powder to cover that up, but I don't have any. Okay. We've got our stenciling done. We have our pillow on there. I mean, our little hanky. We have our pocket right here. Right there. And it's perfect for one. Let me see. Let me get one of my tags that we had made. Let it fit. Look at there. I think it's a little too big. Yeah, too big. So. And it got some of that glue on it. So let's go for a, a smaller tag. Let's go for this one. Perfect. There we go. And it fits the tag just like that. Voila, pocket done. Yeah. Let's go ahead and glue it on the page that I want it on. Get that out there. And I'm also going to be gluing it on three sides because I want that also to be a pocket. Okay, so I can use my regular glue for that. I still don't have my glue tips working. I don't know what's going on with those glue tips. So I have to be careful. I'm cleaning them again. Hopefully. This time it'll they'll work. Don't want to get too close to the edge there. That's where it's going to be closing. Okay. All right, so we have two pockets here. We have a pocket here, right there. And I know this one will fit in the big one right here. And then we have one, a pocket right there in the back, like so. So there's my pockets. Alrighty, let me get this one out. Get that one out. Alrighty, we're all set. There is my project for today, my pocket with the stenciling, and I made a pocket. This is a handkerchief. I put some bling with a ribbon, two ribbons. I stenciled on the blue with that rose cut out, okay? And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this adventure today and for this um, hashtag 
stencil with us. Don't forget, if you want to see other crafters doing this as well, just go on to the hashtag stencil with us and you see you will see all the other uh, participants in this collaboration. I and hope you had fun with me today. And as always, and as always, have a blessed day. Goodbye.